Denver Pyle takes his life with a painful and tragic secret compromise. Denver Pyle was born Denver Del Pyle on May 11, 1920, in Bethune, Colorado, was a beloved American actor whose distinctive voice and rugged screen presence made him a memorable figure in both television and film. His life and career, spanning over five decades, offer a rich tapestry of roles and achievements that reflect his versatility and commitment to the craft of acting. Pyle's journey from a small-town boy to a celebrated actor is marked by a series of significant milestones and personal anecdotes that paint a picture of a man deeply connected to his art and the people around him. Denver Pyle grew up in the rural landscape of Colorado, where he developed an early appreciation for storytelling and performance. His childhood was marked by a blend of country life and a burgeoning interest in the arts. After high school, Pyle pursued a career in acting, starting with small roles in local theater productions. His big break came when he moved to Los Angeles, where he began landing roles in television and film. Pyle's early career was characterized by his work in various westerns, a genre that would become synonymous with his name. His rugged appearance and deep voice made him a natural fit for roles that required a strong, dependable character. His early television appearances included guest spots on popular shows of the era, where he showcased his ability to bring authenticity and depth to every role he played. Pyle's breakthrough came with his role as Briscoe Darling in The Andy Griffith Show, 1960-1968, where he portrayed the head of the quirky Darling family. His performance was characterized by a blend of humor and warmth, endearing him to audiences and solidifying his place in television history. His work on the show was highly praised, and it established him as a significant figure in the industry. Following his success on The Andy Griffith Show, Pyle continued to build his career with notable roles in other television series. He appeared in shows like Gunsmoke and The Virginian, where he further demonstrated his versatility and skill as an actor. His ability to seamlessly transition between comedic and dramatic roles earned him widespread recognition and respect from both peers and audiences. In addition to his television work, Denver Pyle made a significant impact in the film industry. He appeared in a variety of films, including The Dukes of Hazzard, 1979-1985, where he played Uncle Jesse Duke, a role that became one of his most iconic performances. Pyle's portrayal of Uncle Jesse was beloved by fans, and the character became a symbol of down-to-earth wisdom and humor. His work on the show was a testament to his ability to create memorable characters that resonated with audiences. Pyle's film career also included appearances in classic westerns such as The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, 1962. His performances in these films highlighted his ability to hold his own alongside some of Hollywood's biggest stars. His work was characterized by a genuine commitment to his roles, and he was known for his meticulous approach to every character he portrayed. As Denver Pyle's career progressed, he continued to be a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. His later years were marked by continued work in both television and film, with guest appearances on shows such as The Love Boat and Walker, Texas Ranger. Despite the demands of his career, Pyle remained deeply connected to his roots and often spoke about the importance of family and personal values. Pyle's personal life was characterized by his dedication to his family and his love of the outdoors. He was an avid outdoorsman and enjoyed spending time in nature, which he often cited as a source of inspiration and relaxation. His family life was marked by a deep sense of commitment and love, and he was known for being a supportive and caring husband and father. In 1955, Pyle married Mary Lee Carpenter, a production assistant at 20th Century Fox. They had sons David and Tony. Mary Lee and Denver divorced in 1970. In 1983, Pyle married Tippy Johnston. That union lasted until his death. Denver Pyle, renowned for his distinctive voice and memorable performances in both film and television, made a heartbreaking compromise with his own life that ultimately led to his untimely demise. Pyle, whose career spanned over four decades, was known for his roles in classic television series such as The Dukes of Hazzard and Gunsmoke, as well as films like Bonnie and Clyde and The Life and Times of Grizzly Adams. Despite his public persona as a tough, charismatic character actor, Pyle's personal life was marked by a private struggle that would prove fatal. 
One of the most significant and tragic aspects of Pyle's life was his battle with an incurable disease, a direct consequence of his lifelong smoking habit. Pyle was a heavy smoker, a fact that he never shied away from despite its growing recognition as a health hazard. His smoking habit was not merely a casual indulgence but a serious addiction. He was known to smoke three packs of cigarettes a day. This relentless smoking took a considerable toll on his health, eventually manifesting in a severe and debilitating illness that would claim his life. In the early 1990s, Pyle's health began to deteriorate rapidly. The effects of decades of smoking became increasingly evident as he experienced persistent respiratory issues and chronic coughing. Despite these warning signs, Pyle continued to smoke, perhaps as a means of coping with the stress of his declining health or simply due to the overwhelming nature of his addiction. His reluctance to confront the severity of his condition or seek more aggressive medical interventions may have been driven by a combination of denial and the deep-seated nature of his dependency. Pyle's struggle with lung cancer became public knowledge only as his condition worsened. By the mid-1990s, he was diagnosed with advanced lung cancer, a diagnosis that brought with it a grim prognosis. The disease was relentless, and Pyle faced it with a stoic resolve that mirrored his on-screen persona. However, the disease was ultimately beyond the reach of medical science at the time, leaving Pyle with little hope for recovery. Tragically, Denver Pyle succumbed to his illness on Christmas Day in 1997. His death marked the end of a distinguished career and a life filled with both professional success and personal challenges. The choice of Christmas Day for his passing added a layer of poignancy to his death, a day typically associated with celebration and joy, now overshadowed by the loss of a beloved actor. Following his death, memorial services were held on January 6, 1998, at the First Baptist Church in Waxahachie, Texas. This service was attended by family, friends, and colleagues, all of whom came together to honor and remember the man whose work had left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. The church, known for its community-centered spirit, served as a fitting venue for Pyle's final farewell, reflecting the deep roots he had in the Texas community. Denver Pyle was buried in an unmarked grave at the Forreston Cemetery in Forreston, Texas. The choice of an unmarked grave was perhaps a reflection of Pyle's personal preference for simplicity or modesty in his final resting place. His remains were interred beside those of his second wife's parents, J.T. Johnston and Aaron Birch Johnston. This decision to rest alongside his family members highlights the personal and familial connections that were important to him, even in death. Pyle's legacy is a complex tapestry of public success and private struggle. His contributions to the entertainment industry are well remembered, yet his personal life, marked by the painful compromise with his health, serves as a poignant reminder of the consequences of addiction and the often hidden battles that individuals face. Denver Pyle's life and death continue to resonate as a testament to the dualities of fame and personal hardship, leaving behind a legacy that is both celebrated and somber.